morning everybody <laughs> i literally start my vlogs like this every single week and uh i have nothing to say about it we're just gonna swiftly move on so today's vlog is a very exciting one i am going to mainly be at home but i'm picking up my new car today and i think i'm gonna take you guys with me don't know how much I'm going to film of it because I feel like it's going to be dark when I go and pick it up because it's later on this afternoon. And then I'm meeting Sophie and we're going to go for a <clears throat> coffee. <laughs> I haven't actually seen Soph since before Christmas, I think. It's been a very long time. But I shared something on Facebook the other day. I saw something. It said something like, I am 1000% the absent friend. Like, we won't see each other for weeks. But then when we do, it's like nothing's changed. And I kind of like cheerlead from a distance and then i don't know i'm just such a rubbish friend i feel like but i need to make more of a conscious effort to get out of the house and i have missed soph so i'm gonna be meeting her once i picked up the new car and then yeah we're gonna go get a starbucks i am craving a matcha latte so if you guys follow me on instagram i posted on my story the other day that i tried a matcha latte for the first time oh my gosh i loved it it was so nice and I added a little bit of, vin uh, what's it called, sugar-free vanilla syrup. Yeah, I really want a matcha latte. I've been craving it ever since I tried it. If you haven't tried it, it's a bit of a weird taste, I will admit. Like, it's a very different taste, but it tastes healthy in a good way and it's really nice. So I really recommend trying it if you haven't already. As I said, it's not for everyone, but I personally really liked it and I've been thinking about it ever since. I really wanna get some of that powder. You can get like the matcha latte powder. So I think I'm gonna get some at some point. If any of you have the powder, let me know your recommendations because I don't know which one's best. So I'm just about to get ready for the day. Obviously I've got my heatless curler in, of course, and I'm gonna do my makeup. And I thought I would talk you guys through some of my favorite makeup products at the moment. I got some new ones for Christmas that I have just been absolutely obsessed with. And I feel like you guys would appreciate knowing the products and, oh, Life 360. <laughs> Life 360 is just such a good app for like knowing where your family are. Callum's ringing me. Okay, so I've just applied some of the Bobbi Brown face base. I got like the bigger product for Christmas because I had the tester originally, wanted to try it. I always do that. If I don't know if I'm going to like something, I always get the tester first. But I loved this and yeah, I've just used it as the base for my makeup. Um a foundation that I've absolutely been loving is the Beautiful Skin Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This is unbelievable. It would be so good for wedding makeup. I feel like people do use this for wedding makeup. So this is my new favourite foundation and it just makes your skin look so glowy. I haven't even had to use my flawless filter because this is just so glowy um what other things have i been using i have been using the elf paulus putty primer to kind of apply under my eyes on my chin like anywhere where my pores are more prominent i did actually do a tiktok on this the other day um like i did a get ready with me but if you haven't seen that i'm just talking you through the products um i love i used to be a collection last infection concealer kind of gal and i still do have it and i still do occasionally use it but i've been reaching for this one a lot more because it's got like a bigger brush 
like look how thick that is um the color's really nice this is the revolution conceal and hydrate it's really hydrating as well like really glowy so it matches the foundation this is like a lighter shade this is c2 um and i really really like this it's full coverage as well which is great um been using the pink honey glue which i've had for a while now for my eyebrows still loving it and it lasts a really long time like I got this in September for my birthday and I've still got loads left because you don't need to use a lot and you just use it on a little brush like this and then you like place like set it in place with your fingers um still loving the made by Mitchell blush this is the um caramel chisel one which I use for bronzer this is my favorite duo again Charlotte Tilbury I'm loving the Charlotte Tilbury makeup at the minute um but for blush i'm using the glowgasm beauty light wand high blush um these came in a little set and i got it for christmas and they're just unreal and then this is the illuminator so this is the hollywood beauty light wand easy highlighter and they are so glowy so easy to like blend out as well the blush is my favourite. I don't think I'll ever go back to any other blush because it's so glowy, it's so easy to blend out and it makes your face just look flawless. I love it. Still using the Sky High Mascara, my favourite mascara ever. I'll never go back to another mascara. This is unreal. Um, and then I also use the Tatty Lashes. These are from ASOS. They're the ASOS exclusive ones. And they are, I've got them upside down, the 3D faux mink ones and they're like really wispy and they're not like full lashes they're sort of like I would say maybe three quarters you could definitely cut them down even further if you don't like the length so those are like my favorite OG makeup products at the moment I'll link them all down below if you want to have a look um but I've just been obsessed with them so I'm gonna get on and do my makeup um because as I said, I've got a video to film. I don't know if I've said that actually. I've got a video to film. If you're all wondering, it should be up by now. It's a what is in my handbag video. Guys, I need to show you this bag. So this arrived this morning. It is another dupe. Now, you guys know I am completely honest about my dupes. Um, and I'm so excited about this one. Obviously, it is Chanel. You've got a little dust bag. And this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen a more beautiful bag in your life? I am obsessed. There is going to be a full unboxing in the what's in my bag video because I'm going to pack it with all of my favourite things. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. If you want to find out where it's from, I will also link the company in the description box below as well. But I am just so obsessed. I can't wait to use this today and like pack it with all my favorite handbag essentials it's going to be a very good video so definitely go and check it out but yeah I'm, I'm just so happy with it oh it is just beautiful so this is the um flap bag and i think this might be the medium one i feel like it's 25 centimeters oh it's stunning so nice so i'm just gonna sit here Finish my makeup. I'm watching this, which is called Do Revenge on Netflix. I have already watched this once and I really wanted to watch it again because it was so good. If you like like girly movies, something like funny, also like badass, it's just such a good film and I can't believe I haven't watched it before. It's got the girl, I think her name's, oh, what is her name in real life? She's in Stranger Things. She plays Robin. I can't actually remember her real name. But it's got her in it. And I think, I can't remember what she's in. I know she's in something, but I can't remember what. But yeah, such a good film if you want like a girly film. It's really good. So yeah, let's get ready. Got my nice cup of tea. Look how cute this mug is, by the way. I feel like this is just a day of showing you things that Sophie recommends. Um, I picked this up from Poundland the other day. It is beautiful. I love it. Um, I also thought that this would be perfect for a matcha latte. But yeah, I've been using it for tea. And it's like double glass. But I have seen about these mugs to not put them in the dishwasher. It does say that they're dishwasher safe but I don't think they are. I've just been hand washing mine because obviously we don't have a dishwasher. Sad times. And it was £2.50, so might have to pop in there at some point for another one. 
video is filmed everyone and this is the outfit that i'm going for today look how beautiful this bag is <sighs> i'm so excited for you guys to see the video um but yeah this is the outfit so obviously my new bag um i've just got some boohoo seamless leggings on i feel like i'm gonna change the socks because they kill the vibe um and then i've got my h&m jumper on which is just my all-time favorite jumper at the moment um makeup's done hair is done and i'm not going out for a little bit yet so i'm gonna make lunch because i'm hungry i've barely eaten today i keep forgetting to eat it's really bad so yeah i'm gonna make a chicken caesar salad they are my favorite for keto lunches and then a bit later on i'm picking up the car i need to clear out the car first as well because there is stuff in there that needs to come out before i get the new one um just make sure that everything is out i get really stressed when i have to do stuff like that though because i get really worried that i'm gonna forget something and leave it in the car but i'm sure if i did they'd let me come and get it i mean it's not going to be anything important anyway but i know that i've got some clothes in the boot so i need to get that out and i'm also going to edit the video that i've just filmed i had so much fun filming that video i did like different angles and stuff and i really like it and then obviously I'm meeting Sophie later and we're gonna go get a coffee. So all round a very good day. in my new car i'm filming on my phone by the way because um my sd card was in my computer uploading a video so i couldn't use my camera but i've got my gopro and i've got my phone oh my goodness i'm so happy with this car it's it's great the man that um dealt with us was so lovely if you're in the area that we're in we actually bought our car from pj nichols and i've been with them for like six years all of my cars have been through pj nichols apart from i think two at the start uh, like when i first started driving um but we dealt with someone who was so lovely i just i love them they're they're such a good company to buy cars through so i really recommend if you are local I think they mainly specialize in fords but they do have other cars as well callum is ringing me <laughs> as i was saying um i'm loving this car it's got loads of like functions that i really like I'm happy but I'm gonna go pick up Soph now because we are gonna go get our Starbucks and my neighbours probably think I'm absolutely mental because I'm just sat here talking to my phone but yeah let's go pick up Soph and head to Starbucks I hope it's still open I haven't checked Callum's now driving the new car Are you vlogging on yeah I want to hear some revs <laughs> no don't rev that's so embarrassing so yeah, Callum's been loving the new car. He's been whizzing round. <laughs> Not whizzing as in like, Callum. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a very nice screen here, which is a lot bigger than our last one. It's quite similar to our old car, but it's also quite different, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, like it's LEDs bigger. On your feet. Yeah. Excuse the food that's down there. Callum's just it's been to Aldi. Because it's the ST line. Um, basically just and we've got lights in the about. cup holders which i thought was so cool it's the little things in life i have got a sunglass holder oh, i've never had one of those before guys i'm really excited and it's actually a really nice car i'm just really happy with all of like the little things that are in it and you're happy aren't you yeah, where are the wipers, no, wipers are there Oh, does that mean we've had a power cut at home? Oh crap, that's an ambulance. Um, I don't know what's going on guys, but we were just in Morrison's because we bought a new air freshener and uh, all of the lights went out. 
and uh, it was really weird. Like everything just went out, but some of the lights have gone out in the high street and we had a power cut the other day and that's the exact same thing that happened when we had a power cut at home. So I'm really hoping that we don't get home and all of the lights don't turn on because I haven't had dinner yet. I'm actually hungry. All I had was- um, It doesn't affect our dinner, we've got gas hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've got a gas hob, so it doesn't matter. I don't want to be cooking my dinner in the dark. But um, yeah, all I've had is some little snacks from M&S. Me and Sophie went to Starbucks. It said that they close at seven, and this was literally at like 10 past six. And they were like, oh yeah, we, we're closing in a minute. So Sophie couldn't have any food. Sorry, it's really dark. I couldn't have a matcha because she said they didn't have any, but I'm thinking, did you just not want to make it? Um, so I ended up, having a chai latte which I'm not entirely sure if I'm allowed because of keto but oh well um, and then we got some little snacks from M&S so I got some pesto mozzarella balls and I got some um, prawns but I haven't had anything since so I'm hungry not yeah. like an hour ago yeah but it was they're only small pots hello everyone it's now a few days later I've actually had a very slow day today because I woke up feeling not very well I don't know if you can tell by my voice i'm just a little bit bunged up um hopefully it should be okay like i should get better i've taken some tablets and as i said i've just had a really slow day today so i had a little bit of a lie-in i have just been pottering around i cleaned our patio doors like the juliet balcony doors because they were filthy i was literally sat there and you know when you see something and you're like i really need to clean that and then I just had a sudden urge to clean. So I've just been cleaning today, um, watching films, just taking it easy. I had a nice bath and as you can see, I've got my heatless curler in. I'm literally popping it in for like half an hour. To, how long has it been in now for? Maybe half an hour um, because I just want like really loose waves. Um, I don't know why, I just fancied it. I got out of the bath and I just wanted my hair out of my face. So that's what I did. And we're actually gonna go out to B&M in a moment. Callum, I think, has finished work now. So he should be on his way home. And then we're gonna go to B&M because I just fancy a little B&M trip. We wanna pick up a few things for the house. I need to get a new bin for the bathroom. That is a definite. We've had our bin for far too long and it's cracked at the bottom. We just need a new one. And I don't really like the style of it anymore. When we first moved in, I bought a like marble print one and I'm just not about that life anymore. So I'm gonna get a different one hopefully if we see one that we like. Definitely need to get some more salt. I love the Himalayan pink salt and I always get it from B&M and we've nearly run out. So there are a few things that are on my list of things to get, but really I just wanna have a little mooch around B&M. I've seen loads of videos of B&M and they have got some unreal things. So I think I actually might show you in this video some things that are in there, like a little new in. Because I haven't done one of those for a while and I really enjoy showing you lot what is new in the shops. I honestly feel so bunged up. <laughs> It, and it's so annoying as well because I filmed my what's in my handbag video the other day and I spoke about the hand sanitizer. I've been using hand sanitizer all the time. I said I didn't want to get ill and then yesterday evening when I was at work I started to feel a little bit unwell. You know that feeling when you know that you're going to wake up the next day feeling a bit rough? I started to feel like that. I had a bit of a headache. I was sniffly and then I woke up this morning and I felt rough. But as I said, hopefully it's not gonna stick around for too long. It feels very mild at this moment in time. But yeah, I'm gonna take out my curler in a moment when Callum gets home and then we're gonna make our way to B&M. Um, and then we're gonna go to my mum's house tonight because my granddad is actually visiting for like a few days. So I'm gonna go and see him because he lives in uh, Kent, like Margate. So it's quite away from us. And it's always nice when he comes up to visit. So I'm going to go and see him. And that is pretty much our evening. I don't even, I feel like this vlog has been very um, here, there and everywhere. I don't actually know how much I filmed, but I hope it's okay. 
I've started to get really worried about my vlogs recently. I don't know why. Like, I, I feel like I should be scheduling, like, everything and having it all planned out. And I normally used to do that. And sometimes I still do now. But when I don't, like this video, for example, I always worry that it's not good enough. But I know that you guys like my videos, so I don't know what I'm worrying about because you're always so lovely. So let's get ready and go to B&M and I'll show you what is new. I really fancy a Starbucks. Hopefully Starbucks is open because as I said the other day, I didn't get a matcha and I really wanted one and I've been craving them. So there is a Starbucks drive through on the way to B&M. So if it's still open, I might pop there and get one. I'm just googling it that's why i'm looking down <laughs> oh yes it will still be open also guys i managed oh um, this is one thing i'm so happy about today although i'm ill this has made my day i have managed to buy some ugman 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 <laughs> ug tasman shoes I've mentioned before that I have been wanting these since like October last year and they're always sold out. I kid you not, I look pretty much every single day to see if they're in stock. And finally, I got an email this morning from Urban Outfitters. I'd signed up for like, let me know when they come in stock. And I had an email at 10 a.m. this morning saying that they were in stock. They had my size. They were the exact ones I wanted. So I ordered them. So I finally got my hands on them and I will show you when they arrive because I love them. I'm so excited about that. So if you're looking for them, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Just keep your eye out and sign up for the mailing list. But everywhere I turn, some hearts will break. Something, someone will end up getting hurt again. There's no need to play pretend. Why don't you stay? Stay, cause I can really use a friend. Stay, please stay, cause my heart really needs a man. Guys, I'm so out of breath. Oh, the delivery lady came to the door and I couldn't find my house key. I'd left it in my coat, so like the door was locked and I had to unlock it. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm coming. But I think I know what's just arrived. This is a very weird angle. Apologies about that. Literally kneeling on the floor. Right, let's see if this is what I, it is. How quick was that? I literally ordered these yesterday. They're my Uggs, guys. Okay. Okay. I can't believe they've come that quick. Right. Let's go. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have waited months to get my hands on these. Oh my gosh, I love them already. goodness oh yes 
love them how cute are they oh my goodness i'm obsessed i'm a six and a half and i got a seven um and they fit perfectly so just reference on size if you want to get them i love them <gasps> beautiful excuse my little b&m bags i uh obviously did a haul i will show later some of it to you guys because i'm gonna film this haul now i'm just about to get ready and then i'm gonna put it around the house um so yeah <laughs> just a random sock that i've just taken off they are so pretty i'm obsessed i'm obsessed okay everyone video is now filmed and i'm actually going to place all of these items around the house now so first off the bathroom i'm going to pop one of these over the back of the door as i mentioned in my haul um i'm actually just going to hang up my dressing gowns in the bathroom because we don't have a lot of storage for like hanging up coats and things like that so i think one of them is going to go in a cupboard and one of them is going to go in the bathroom two pound fifty bargain um, then I'm going to pop into the dining room, put the table runner on, put the tea towels in the kitchen and I'm going to find places for everything because they are such stunning pieces that I'm just so excited to put them around the house now. Also need to put the bin in the bathroom and chuck the other one away. So let's see where we can put these items. I'm going to let the sun shine in the day. Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colours And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Okay guys, I'm really struggling to decide how I actually want this table I've just put a poll on my Instagram um, Because I need your guys' opinions So... If you don't have Instagram, I'll show you. This was the, was that the first one I had? I don't know, maybe that's the second way I had it. So it's got the new vase with Pampas and then two candles either side, pillar candles, which I would obviously get um, candle holders for them so that the wax doesn't go on the runner. Then there's this one, which has the tray which i got from b&m pretty much all of this is new apart from that candle um so yeah it's got the stone tray the little um bunny tail pampas and then the pampas candle holder and then just a pillar candle on that side or there's this one which is the donut bars with the bunny tail pampas the little plant that i got from b&m and the candle holder yeah i just can't decide how i want it so far I think this one's winning. The poll's only been up for a few minutes, but so far that one's winning. Oh, thank you, Claire. Love you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know how I want it. Help me. But I will say I am so impressed with the table runner. I think it actually does add a little bit of something to the table. Um, I really love it and you know what I've actually just seen I was looking on Pinterest for inspo and I there was an ad that came up on there from Dunelm and they had a really similar one that was 22 pounds and I bought this for 12 12 pounds and it was literally exactly the same so that made me even more chuffed with my purchase i'm still feeling really sniffly today it's getting on my nerves that's like the worst thing isn't it feeling sniffly actually that's not the worst thing the worst thing is when you've got a blocked nose and you can't breathe so thankfully i don't feel like that <laughs> and guys i'm still wearing my uggs i've literally been wearing them while i was filming the video while i've been pottering around just because they're clean at the moment i am planning on just wearing them out as like actual shoes rather than slippers um so today's pretty much the only time i can walk around in these because they're probably going to be dirty by tomorrow like underneath they're so comfy and my feet are normally freezing and they've been so warm it's been a good day guys it's been a good day so the plan for now i'm actually gonna eat 
because oh my gosh guys i have got into a really bad habit of forgetting to eat callum keeps being like because i will literally be sat there on the sofa and callum will be like next to me and i'll say oh i haven't eaten and he's like how do you forget to eat and i'm like i don't know <sighs> i need to eat something because it's like 3 p.m now and i don't know how i keep doing it um i don't know what to have hmm i might have a chicken caesar salad those are my favorite things at the minute and i've got like these little bacon bits as well that i put on top and oh it's just so delicious i forgot how much i love caesar sauce oh, it's amazing um i feel like i made a salad earlier on in this vlog as well <laughs> all i've been eating is just chicken caesar salads and then I've got to get on and do some editing. I've got to edit the video that I've just filmed. I've also got a vlog. Actually, I've got this vlog to edit. I don't even know how long this is now. I've been doing it over like the whole week, which I don't normally do. So let me know if you guys have enjoyed this style, like me vlogging over like the whole week. I'm gonna get on and make some food. Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, I did realise that during editing this vlog, I didn't actually show you like an outside clip of the car. The car is so dirty already because where Callum's work is, um, when he has to park the car for like the day because he does driving, so he drops off the car like he drives to work and then he's in a van there's like loads of birds and they have literally been pooing all over our car which is just so annoying um, but i will definitely show you guys a clip of the car from the outside once we've cleaned it because it looks awful at the moment but i really hope that you have enjoyed spending the week with me don't forget to give it a like if you have and also subscribe if you're new it would really mean a lot to me have a lovely rest of your week and i will see you in the next video which i think is at the weekend so i'll see you then. Love you guys so much. Bye.